suppose you want to find the cosine of the sum or difference of two angles. So if I have the cosine of, let's call them alpha and beta, so the cosine of alpha plus beta, the cosine does not distribute inside. The way that this one expands out is by taking cosine of that first angle and then cosine of the second angle. So cosine alpha, cosine beta, and then switch that, sine of alpha, sine of beta, And then whatever your operation happened on the inside, you're going to do the opposite. So if it's plus, this is going to be minus. So the pattern is cosine, cosine, sine, sine, change that sign. So then the same is true if I want to do the difference. So cosine of alpha minus beta is still going to be cosine, cosine. So cosine of the first one, cosine of the second one. Change that sign to plus. And then sine of the first one, sine of the second. Okay, so cosine, cosine, sine, sine, change the sine. Okay, so a few examples. Let's say I want to find the cosine of 105 degrees. Okay, it's not one of our popular angles, so I can't go to the unit circle, but I can use some of the popular angles on the unit circle to rewrite this. So two angles that add to 105, I would probably use 45 and 60. You don't have to use those two. Just make sure you find two angles that gives you that 105. So then expanding this out, cosine, cosine, sine, sine. So cosine of the 45 degrees, cosine of the 60 degrees. Change the sine. Then we do the sine of the first one, sine of the second. Okay, these are ones we know. Cosine of 45 degrees is square root of 2 over 2. Cosine of 60 degrees is 1 half. Sine of 45 degrees is square root of 2 over 2. Sine of 60 degrees is square root of 3 over 2. So putting this together, multiplying the denominators, I get a 4 on each of those. So that's our common denominator. So I can just add the numerators of square root of 2 and then minus square root of 6. Let's try another one in radians. Let's say I want the cosine of pi over 12. So again, rewriting this using our common angles. Pi over 12 is going to be in the first quadrant, so let me just look at the first quadrant angles. The popular ones are pi over 6, pi over 4, and pi over 3. So converting these with a common denominator of 12, I would get 2 pi over 12. 3 pi over 12, and 4 pi over 12. So if I were to subtract 3 pi over 12, and then minus 2 pi over 12, that gives me 1 pi over 12. So this is the same thing as the cosine of pi over 4 minus pi over 6. Notice I could have also done pi over 3 minus pi over 4. That would also work. So expanding this out, cosine, cosine, sine, sine. changing that sign. Okay, and then just evaluating each one. Cosine of pi over 4, square root of 2 over 2. And then square root of 3 over 2. Sine of pi over 4 is also square root of 2 over 2. Sine of pi over 6 is 1 half. So putting this together with our common denominator of 4, I would get square root of 6 plus the square root of 2. Okay, one more. Let's say you were given the expansion and you want to go back to where it came from. For example, let's say I have the cosine of 20 degrees times the cosine of 25 degrees minus the sine of 20 degrees, sine of 25 degrees. So looking at the pattern, cosine, cosine, sine, sine, this is going to be the cosine of the sum of two angles, because I have minus. And those two angles are the 20 and the 25 degrees. So this becomes the cosine of 45 degrees, which is square root of 2 over 2.